this live? Yeah, it's, it's live. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show here on Park City TV. I'm your co-host, Nick Gepper, and we have an exciting guest with us this morning, a personal friend of mine, Troy Hodge Vilsack. Now, Troy, you grew up here in Park City. You're 13 years old. You're an up-and-coming phenom on the slopestyle skiing circuit. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what this season looks like for you. Well, uh, I just had a pretty good season, finished it up in uh, Mountain Hood, but I'm going to start my season off at New Zealand and then move on to Sassa Bay, Switzerland, and then from there I'm just going to kind of chill at Park City, and then from there I'm going on the contest at Red Tour, and then I kind of end my season in Anna. That's awesome. I also know that you are one of four siblings. And I'm also the oldest of four siblings. I don't think you're the oldest, but I love my brothers and sisters so much, and they support me and push me. And I want to know, what's it like going out and traveling and being on the circuit, but also having those three other siblings to support you and go back and hang out with them when you get home? It's it's pretty fun because I get to like kind of forget about them for a little bit. But when I come home, it's like amazing because they're like my best friends, and we get to play video games. And That's awesome, and I understand your brother is quite the basketball player, and I went with you to one of his basketball tournaments recently, and I was impressed. Now, we just went on a trip to Mount Hood together because we're both training with the same coach, and when we got back from skiing and when we spent time at the house, I couldn't help but notice you were playing an unhealthy amount of Fortnite, the video game. And I've got to be honest, I think it might be a little bit of a problem unless you can prove me otherwise. What do you think? Uh, no, I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm straight up addicted. Like, I can't stop playing. That game is so much fun. But it's time because it's just unhealthy. I, I'd I rather think, be reading a book. I think most kids your age are addicted to Fortnite. And I agree, I think you should be reading a book. Actually, I could recommend a few books to you <laughs> if you'd like. Now, Troy, I know you're a multi-sport athlete. You just got done with the soccer tournament. What kinds of other sports, along with soccer, do you like to do outside of skiing? I really like to play ping pong. I don't know what it is, but I'll get just as mad playing ping pong as losing a soccer tournament or a skiing tournament. Like, ping pong is my jam. Wow. And that's one thing I know about you, is you are extremely competitive. Because when you were playing Fortnite against our coach, in the house in Mount Hood, and you lost. You were using the broken controller, but <laughs> I sensed some competitive energy up in that head of yours. Uh, yeah, I got really angry, and I didn't really want to talk to him. I kind of held a grudge against him the whole trip. Oh my gosh, and that's over Fortnite now. <laughs> I know what it's like to be that competitive. I've got the same personality. So you were telling me the other day You've got, you're working on a backyard setup in your backyard here in Park City. Now, I've got a similar setup in my backyard at home in Indiana, which is where I skied in the summertime when I was your age. And it was a rail with an AstroTurf in run and a carpet on the landing, and I spent hours and hours on that thing in the summertime. So tell me about yours. You said it's just getting built, and you're really excited to ski. All right, so it's just getting built, as you said, and I like every day I look outside and see if there's workers, but there's I don't see them, so I'm like, come on, I need to get this, I need to get this, I just want, I can't wait to see it. The mind's always on the screen. Yeah, totally. I know what it's like. So you just got sponsored by Under Armour, but also 
you're sponsored by K2. Do you have any other sponsors that are supporting you right now? Yes. Uh, I have a Swix Wax. It's a waxing company. It really helps my kids over uh, those jumps. And then I have Brom. It's a beachwear company. They're out of uh, Southern California. I think being as small and as light as you are, I would say you definitely need some Swix Wax to get some, over those jumps. Yes, I do. Now here's something I want to understand. Oh wait, we got a video coming up on the screen right now. Let's check this out. So could you could you take us through these tricks that you're doing right now? All right, now? right there is a switch up, switched up cork 1080 safety, and that's a switched up 12. So I'm going over the top basically. And it's where where are these videos being filmed? They're co Colorado, Mammoth, New Zealand, all around really. That's I, in copper. I gotta tell you that. Uh, Breckenridge. That's Mount Hood. That's the a new trick I had not learned. That's in uh, Utah Olympic Park, right in Park City. Right in our backyard. Yep. And this trick right here was a double cork 1620. This one was probably my favorite. Wow, that's a lot of spinning around. Yeah. Wow. I've got I've got to commend you for those tricks. That was pretty impressive. Thank you. Now I hate to admit it, but this this happened recently. You landed an unnatural double cork 1440 before I did. Yes. And I gotta say that was a little bit of a shot to my ego, but I'm gonna give it to you because you pushed me to be a better skier whenever you're skiing. After losing in Fortnite, that really like kind of picked me up. I was like, so happy because I did it, <laughs> and I wasn't losing in Fortnite. Okay, here we got another video coming up. What's this right here? That's a uh, uh, trip cork fourteen forty. Wow, and that's that's in New Zealand, isn't it? I've been there before. Yeah, I was doing that when I was twelve. It was really nerve wracking. If you saw, I went to the bottom. Wow. Because I was just so. So I got another question for you. You are 13 and you're doing all these crazy flips and tricks and grinding these big scary rails out on the slopes. What what makes you want to do this crazy sport of slope style skiing? Because most kids your age are only playing Fortnite and maybe doing one other sport. They're not interested in this crazy acrobatic sport of slope style skiing. What do you like about it? So I like the nerves. The nerves are like the most fun part. It's being scared and that feeling when you land. You know that feeling. It's I know it's, that feeling. It's a great feeling when you're nervous and then you just land and your hands go up and you just feel great. So if you had to envision yourself in four years from now, what's it like? What are your goals? Where do you see yourself? What kind of tricks are you going to be well, doing? Well, hopefully I've gone to the Olympics 2022 Beijing. Hopefully I podium there. And hopefully you're going to be there too. I know you will because you're at the top of your game. I, want, I basically want what you have right now. Like three X Games, four X Games gold medal. Like I can't even count in two uh, Olympic medals. That's just. So where can the local Park City people follow you? How can they keep up with your activities and your skiing, what you're doing on the road? Uh, my Instagram, uh, Tro Troy Vlad Milsack. Okay, how do you spell your last name? Uh, P-O-D-M-I-L-S-A-K. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Troy. Yeah, thank you. We will be right back with another amazing guest, Johnny Collinson here on the Mountain Morning Show.